Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. It's Cheryl Char and Charlie's personal crafts and I can't see out of these glasses for some reason. Let me try another pair. That's better. Um, they're dollar store so I have to I sometimes I just pick up different uh, intensities and it's not strong enough. Okay. I had a request from Angela to show you how I make my mask. Believe it or not, three days I've been making mask. As soon as I think I'm done, someone else in the hall or someone texts me or someone calls me and says, Cheryl, can you please make me a couple of masks? I'll pay you. I say, I don't want any money. I'll make you a mask. Today I made five and uh, four were for my neighbor and she puts money under my door. I'm getting blessed. There are no words. So I'm here and my baby's laying next to me. He's a little worn out. I just took him out, but I cannot sit at the table because my leg is in intolerable pain. I have to keep ice on it. So I have ice on it and I wrapped my scarf around the leg to keep the ice pack underneath in the joint so i have to sit here so what i decided to do is to step by step show you how to make make this what you need for it and i want to tell you right off the bat i went through a lot of channels and the one that i felt worked for me because i don't have a sewing machine and that i thought was a very good one her channel is the week's nest w-e-e-k-s the week's nest she's phenomenal i just happened to find her about maybe three months ago and i subscribed to her channel because she's incredible with her ideas so this is not my idea i just use the materials i have to compensate to make her type of mask so i got to give her the credit but i'll show you how i do mine and what i use she uses different things doesn't matter it gets the job done and i i cannot do it at the table because hold on okay sorry about that i had a little mishap i spilled coffee it was just a little tiny bit i had my cup on the floor trying to make room for this craft not a craft but you know what i mean to make the uh, face mask and oh god you might as well cause call, call me the bootleg crafter because I have to find all these means of crafting and um, I don't have that nice table and those things with the lines in it and oh, would I love it, but I don't need it. I'm gonna manage just like this. Before I get started, like I always do, I have a couple announcements. I got my little card here. I had the best birthday ever. Uh, I woke up, Tom called and sang me happy birthday. Then he came up and said, I got a surprise for you. I'm taking the dog out all day for you. I was like, no way. He said, yeah, I loved it when he sang happy birthday. Then he, he took the dog out. He proceeded to bring me a gift. He gave me a beautiful, beautiful card and lovely words. And he uh, gave me a gift card to go to the Acme, which is a store in New Jersey. To get groceries and I'm telling you that <laughs> that is just a great gift um, so that's how my day started and he did take the dog out all day uh, I had cards slipped under my door my daughter Tiffany dropped off a present for me and cards from my grandson Julian and her in fact today my other daughter Sasha came and she brought me, um, uh, she gave me a beautiful, a really cute card. I'm gonna show you that right, real quick. Cause she know, my, my daughter knows I'm vintage. So I know it's backwards, but I'll read it to you cause we gotta save time on this one. She gave me a check. She says, she says, it's your birthday. So relax, put your feet up exactly what I'm doing and have people bring you things. And then she goes, you know, pretend you're a man. I love it. That's my daughter. Happy birthday, Madre. She always calls me Madre. I love you so much. Love, Sasha, Christian, and Chloe. 
that's the card. I just I just got this today. My dear friend, and then I've got two cards from, I got a, I, I got so many, I can't show you them all because I'd be on, on here all night. Olivia, my one of my best friends that I worked with for years, she gave me a card in money and my girlfriend Sue gave me, oh my God, money and that big box of crafts you saw. And Olivia's mom, who I adopted, now is my mother, uh, she gave me a beautiful card and a gift in it, and um, it just went on and on and on all day long. And in, meanwhile, I was making masks, trying to keep my leg up. And my son called me to wish me a happy Easter, and he forgot my birthday. <laughs> I said, Wayne, did you know today is my birthday? And he goes, oh, my God, Mom, what date is it? I said, April 12th. Anyway, I'm going to let him slide. He did that twice on Easter. Uh, Ten years ago on Easter, they forgot it was my birthday. I went over there and had a beautiful dinner, but I don't mind that kind of stuff. I could care less. I thought it was kind of funny. And uh, anyway, I got beautiful cards. This one's from um, Love Mom. That's This is a card from Olivia's mother, and I adopted her as my mom. What are you wish today? Blessings upon blessings. Contentment, happy memories. Have a wonderful birthday. Love you, Mom. She knows she, that I made her my mom. Now, today I got a card from Angela. And I also got a card under the door from my a lady that I talked to in the hall. And she's very sweet. Her name is Agnes. And she asked me to make her face mask, and I did. And she gave me a really cute pair of llama socks. I love them. Here's the card today that I love, and I got from Angela. Angela, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. It's your birthday. I also want to thank all my subscribers for wishing me a happy birthday. You guys didn't. That, that just makes me so happy. And thank you for thinking of me. I really appreciate it. It, it was a big one, and uh, it meant a lot to me, so I really want to thank you. Uh, it's just there are no words. Okay, so she sends me this beautiful card. This girl, she never stops. And these really neat stickers. Hold on. These are the stickers. They're all like stickers to give you hope and to keep you strong, which is a really needed at this time in our lives. Is that correct? Yes. Hold on. Okay. So you'll need the pencil. You're gonna need a glue gun. You're gonna need glue sticks. Glue sticks. And like I said, some twine or elastic, whatever you have. Um, if you want pins, you don't really need them. I have pearl pins. Uh, a marker to mark when you're where you're going to cut your material. And um, wire cutters if you're going to use wire instead of the pipe cleaners. Uh, by the way, I just thought that it was running, so I may have left out some things. And I think if I didn't say it because I thought I was running, this is what happens when I'm tired. <laughs> a pencil. And you, like I said, you can use a pen, a pencil, whatever you have. It's fine. And a safety pin is what I use. You can find other ways of doing this. You could, like, once I make this, you're going to find other techniques of your own. All right, I'm not, this is cotton material. Now, I am not going to be giving this away because I just spilled coffee all over it. But we're still going to use it because I measured it. So it's, you're going to go nine inches, but I'm going a little bigger because this, um, because I do folds and I like it to be pretty much, you know, as close to nine by six as I can. The inches on the side of the mask where the banding goes should be about six inches. But I'm doing seven because I just like having a little extra play. 
Okay. So this is nine, let's just say it's nine by six. Six the sides, nine on the bottom. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get my uh, pipe cleaner. Now, I just find these are easier to work with because the wire is a little, like the, I don't want them to get pricked, you know, on the, on the face, like if it pops through or something. So I'm gonna cut it and it does not, it does not have to be all the way the length of the bottom of the material. It doesn't, so don't worry about it. So you lay it down and hold it with your finger and take the glue gun and just put a thing of glue right below the pipe cleaner and carefully bring it up and, and press it down. Okay, and then after it's glued, you feel like it's glued there, then glue the rest of it down. Now you have, these are two pieces here, so I'll go back and glue the top part also, but sometimes your material is so thin it seeps right through. Now the problem I'm having here is my glue gun doesn't have a long enough cord, so I'm like, I have to maneuver the table to uh, get it to reach. Okay, let me see. So this, see, it's so fine that the glue goes right through. Okay, if it doesn't, glue the bottom piece also. In other words, you're going to glue the top piece of material, and then the other piece is going to be hanging so you want to lift fold that over and glue that and then we're going to do the other side the same way i'm not giving this away so don't worry got a pipe cleaner it doesn't have to be th that long this has got a little fold in it so we'll put that there it doesn't have to be the length of the um material it just has to fit like centered so it kind of maneuvers it for conforms to your face is what i'm trying to say i can't think of the words anymore what i'm trying to say so we're going to fold that over make sure it's glue uh it's dry before you finish off the wrap the other side glue that over I hope you are all doing well and had a wonderful Easter. I I had a good Easter and a good day, birthday. Can't believe I spilled coffee on this thing. I, I'm just whew, mess today. All right, now I'm going to go back and glue the bottom piece. Right over. I'm just going to go all the way down. Now I just got sent a video from my friend and I have to go over it carefully, but it's a no sew, um, no glue face mask. Now, as soon as I watch it and, it and I take some time to figure it out, I will come back on and show you how to do it. But I wanna make sure I know how first, but I like that idea because she doesn't use, whoever this girl is, she doesn't use the pipe cleaners. She doesn't use uh, string. Everything is made out of the material. All right, so now you got both sides in with the pipe cleaners, okay? They don't have to be the total length, the total length of the material. They just have to kind of be centered. And, and it's about this long, just centered. Okay, now we're going to go to the ends. Now when you, we're going to glue down the pieces of the two, two pieces of material. Takes a second. One side and then we're going to glue down the other side. And if you don't like the way I'm showing you, go to the week's nest and she'll probably have a better, she's much better than me. I'm going to guarantee that. But I'm going to just show you because someone asked me, special, 
Angela, and I'm going to do it. Okay, now I notice this pipe cleaner is coming down too far. So I'm going to push it down. Okay. All right, so you got both sides glued down, these ends. So now you go to the short end, which is where the, this is going to be like tied to your back of your ears. Okay, what we're going to do is take a pencil and kind of curl it up and hold it. And just go to the center of the material with the glue. Just do about a an inch, a little over an inch and press and press it down hold it for a little bit until you know it, you feel it's dry then do your ends I don't you know um, the girl that this week's nest I thought why, why don't why does she do it that way but believe me she knows what she's doing she's right okay then you hurry up and glue the ends down and when it's completely dry, now sometimes I have problems pulling out the pencil because of the glue, but it all depends on the material I'm using. Some materials just give me a hard time. If you see any pieces that are coming up, like this piece here, just glue it back down. No problem. I told the people I made them, I said, if you have a problem, bring it back. I'll fix it or I'll make you a new one. All right, so when it's dry, you're going to pull the pencil right out, okay? So now you got a little slot for your string. Now let's do the other side. Okay, now you notice the pipe cleaner is coming out. I think I, I should have centered it. It doesn't matter because it's, it's not going anywhere. All right, once again, you're going to take your material and fold it around and hold it around the pencil. And put your glue about an inch or so in the center, not the ends, just the center, and press it down. Let it dry a little bit. And after it dries, then you do your ends and glue it down. I do one end at a time, trust me, when I tell you. Take your time with this because if I try going too fast, I always mess them up. All right, now we're going to glue the other end down. Try not to get the glue on the pencil because I made one last night with this very cheap material that I had. Oh, God, what a mess. And I could not get the pencil out to save my life. Now we're going to wait for this to dry a little bit and pray that I didn't glue the pencil down. In the meantime, I'm going to grab some material okay let's pull the pencil out but this is good I like using cotton because I think it works better especially with this glue if you're going to use glue I like this better okay now we got our face mask now we got to get the the uh, string in here. I hope I didn't glue that shut. Right now, this is how I do the string. Okay. Whoops. Okay, I measure about, I'm gonna say, hold it up to it and make sure you have about two to three inches on each side and then cut now if it's for a big man or something like that then you know you may want a little more material if he has it like a bigger head All right now then you're going to take your pin and what i do i put the pin the twine through the bottom of the pin and pull it halfway through okay and with the opposite end the head of the pin. You're going to go through the whole, the top around your face part and put the pin in and kind of ease it through. Like push, let me put this up so you can see. Push the pin through gently. Be very careful that you don't open the pin.
kind of slide it through. That's why I gotta be, you gotta be careful you don't glue the ends because I made that mistake the other day. See, I glued it a little too much. Let me try to fix this through. Let me get my pencil in. I think it got a little bit of glue in there. And if it doesn't go through one way, if you have trouble with the pin, take it through the other way. Now, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. See, I think it's getting stuck in the material. There it goes. All right. So now, pull your pin out. Hang on to one end of the, of the rope, one piece, and pull out the one end of the string. Don't pull both ends of the string or you're going to have to do it all over again and then I make a knot just so it stays together for the customer this isn't going anywhere don't worry I make a little secure knot now I'm going to show you it again cut the twine about maybe two to three inches on each side and unless it's like a man that has a like I said a bigger head and take your pin put the rope twine through the bottom little hole of the pin and with the head of the pin you're going to go through your material around the uh oh I think did that open up if the pin opens up pull it back out I thought it did but it didn't because I got stuck so many times doing this and just weave it through care gently. Seems like the ends are the always the troublesome. Here we go. There's the pin. Pull it out. Okay, and hang on to one end of the string here. Don't let it go. And then pull out the other end of the string. Always have a hold of one end. Okay, and then make sure it's even when you just do a, a knot. If you need longer string for somebody, you know, you can make it longer. Okay, then knot it. I just knot it for the customer. Now, the next thing I do, which is optional, is let me cut the material and I'll be right back. Okay, now if you want to be fancy schmancy and have it perfect, you go for it. But I'm not. I just want to get them done so that they work. Now here's, I cut just two squares of material. They don't have to be perfect. And I'm going to make it so it fits the center of the facial mask. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. Let's throw that away. And I'm just going to clean this up a little bit with my scissors. Doesn't have to be perfect. No one's going to see it. No one's going to care. Okay. And then we are going to glue, take some glue at the very edge of the fold of the inner side of the mask and glue it down like so see and then you're going to do the next corner glue it down let me tell you another thing i had to order glue sticks oh my god i've been going through them as a matter of fact i need another one like crazy and you can't, Michael's, I don't think it's even open. Okay, and then you glue the other side down. And press it. And then you're going to go, yeah, that's, that's already glued down. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. Okay, now this little pocket, you leave it open. This here, it's just like a little slot. You're going to leave that open. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. This is what I hate about this wire. It's not 
get this out of my way here. You're going to go down the fold, the inner fold of the face mask with some glue. And I'm going to lay it down. Great. Try to line it up with the other with the other piece of material right here. Kind of line it up there. I can always cut this off. It's a little bit too long. And glue the side like you did the other side. Glue that down. Turn it around. And glue the other side around the edges. I don't know why this glue's not coming out. And press down. Okay. And once again, this isn't perfect, but you got your fold. See? And I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it. One second. Okay. Now, right here, it might have a little bit of an overlap. And if you want to be really picky, you can just cut that off doesn't matter but it's not like all about looks it's all about protection from getting that awful virus right all right let me fix this one a little bit all right now so you got your fold see okay let me add a little glue here all right now be right back and I'll show you what I'm going to do okay so here we're done this is it now, the reason I made these folds, see the folds, is if you don't want to wash it, you can hand wash it if it's cotton or, you know, I try to use materials that you can wash. I'm going to tell you why I did this because she, I saw the idea on one of the channels and I thought that's a great idea. So what you do I know you guys make coffee, but some of you use the Keurig cups now, so you don't use them, but you can get these in the Dollar Tree, a dollar for a box. Get a, This is a clean coffee filter. Just kind of fold it in half and then fold it kind of in a square. And if it's too big, just slide it in there. Just make it fit and slide it in the other side. And you got your extra protection of your facial mask in there. So if you want your folds shorter, you can do them shorter. But you can take these out when you hand wash them, but it gives you some extra protection. And this is your mask. Let me go up here and talk to you now. So this is your mask and I'm gonna show you. Now it's got the little wire in the sides and I can tighten this. All right. You can tighten it like this, but it goes, make sure it goes to your, this is a little longer for a bigger, bigger man. Okay. But it covers the nose and it covers your mouth. Now for a big fella, this would be perfect, but you want to make it six inches to nine inches in the longer length nine inches here and six inches here now i'm going to learn how to make the ones with the folds and i i looked at a um a video of how to do one with the folds and as soon as i get it down good then i'll be back and i'll show you if i can learn how to make them i will but this is it and like i said i made myself a birthday one And it's got the pockets for the for the facial mask. Looks like this is glued. Yeah, it's got the pocket for the um, yeah facial mask. The pocket for the coffee filter. I don't know why this isn't opening. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I gotta glue this back down. And it's a very easy thing, but. Honestly, it's time consuming. It is. It usually takes me, if I ha don't run into any problems, I can make them in like a half an hour. But if I run into problems, 
like I have with the uh, glue hitting the pencil and I can't get get it through then you know that's the problem I'm not perfect and I don't claim to be and a lot of the girls on the um, channels they do much better work than I am. I'm not a sewer. I told you that a long time ago. I'm not a sewer. So, but I, this does the job and people ask me for them and I do the best that I can. But I would work with the six inches and the nine inches because that will fit the nose, the mouth, and it won't be so bulky over here. But I'm making these a little bit bigger. I'm not that one, but a little bit bigger for my friend's uh, boyfriend. He's a a bigger guy so I have someone picking them up tomorrow and I used an old cotton cloth that I had for a long time it's clean and another thing is you can hand wash them so if you want to I wouldn't put them in the washer but you can hand wash them gently with a little tide and then rinse them and hang them up I, I bought these in the Dollar Tree. They're little. They're like little hangers, and they have clips at the bottom. So I clip my mask to it and hang it in the shower. Um, so you can hand wash them, and if it comes unglued, just glue it. You know that's why I. You know I want to find out about this one that you don't glue. I'm going to look at it tonight when I go to bed. So anyway, I had a marvelous birthday. I had the greatest time. I had wonderful gifts wonderful beautiful cards thank you so much to all my kids all my grandkids all my subscribers all my subscribers and friends that i love dearly they know who they are thank you so much angela oh my god you're gonna just let me get myself in shape and um i'll surprise you Anyway, um, and it was really sweet talking to Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Uh, we were, we've been conversing um, on uh, through message through our phone numbers, and oh God, she's so sweet. Uh, and uh, Radha, I always look forward to hearing from you. And all you other girls that write me the neatest comments, but I know that all the channels, everybody's so tight, and that's what's so great about this. So, God bless. It's already been 35 minutes. I hope this helps you a little bit. I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to do my best to give. I gave a lot of mask out to all the seniors here. They don't have any money. They're struggling. And I know what that's like. So, I want to help people. And uh, hopefully I am. So, God bless. And I know you want to see Charlie if I can find him. There he is. I can't take you any farther, folks, because my laundry is piled to the ceiling. I just can't seem to get out to get the quarters to wash. So I may just take it to my daughter's tomorrow and say the heck with it. But there's my boy, and that little boy needs a bath. It was so funny. Tom wanted to take him out today, and he didn't want to leave me. So he must be sensing he's got to go home soon. Thank you, guys. Happy Easter. And happy week. Love you. Take care. Oh, and hi, Ken. Fantastic. I'm trying to always think of my friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, let's go put that up there. I'm already over. I'm already over my time. God bless. Take care.